So Samsung is actually in the middle of a very, very weird situation. Funny enough, I don't remember the last time they were in a spot like this, but do keep in mind, they're not the only manufacturers who've done things like this, so it's totally understandable. And I don't think it's like the end of the world, but it is a very interesting thing. So basically what had happened was Samsung, they were basically, you know, replicating, basically when you were taking pictures of the moon on your device, you know, when you zoom in, it can like, you know, focus in a little bit better. Well, with Samsung phones, you can zoom in a ton. I think the Galaxy S23 Ultra can zoom in like almost twice as much as the S20. Three that can do like 30x zoom, which is insane. So essentially what would happen was if you zoomed into the moon, basically it would give you such a, you know, such a detailed shot of the moon. But now it looks like basically instead of Samsung actually, you know, using your specific lens to actually, you know, figure out what that specific moon would look like, what they're doing is it will just detect if you're zooming into the moon and it will replace that moon image with basically an, just the image of the moon that you can like find online basically. Now it's not 100% like exactly like that, but basically, you know, what Samsung was stating was that they were using AI models to basically put craters on the moon exactly what it would detect. But basically, you know, maybe they weren't really, do, you know, maybe they were doing that, but it's more so like they were replacing the image of the moon on your device with an overlay of an image of the moon that, you know, basically you can find online. You know, there's tons of sources for it. Now, I think that's a very interesting approach from Samsung. Like, I don't think it's the end of the world. And I do think that's kind of a clever way of going around. Is it, you know, ethical? Well, it really depends. You know, I don't think it's unethical for doing that. And maybe they are, you know, they're kind of like, you know, being open about it, I will say. So they are saying that they are leveraging AI to kind of put craters where they are. And from some things that I've seen, it looks like, you know, the moon will always look the same way, like the craters will always be on the same spot. So because of that, they can just go ahead and guys just like, you know, replace the craters with other craters that they can find online. And again, I think it's kind of a clever thing that, you know, Samsung has done here. Now with this specific thing, again, I don't think it's the end of the world. It's kind of understandable the way they approach this, but I do think looking forward, you know, is Samsung going to continue doing things like this? I would say probably, you know, if we look at a lot of other, you know, phone features that we've seen before, we've seen tons of editing capabilities stock within the phone. We've seen, you know, Apple within FaceTime basically give us the ability of having like fake eyes that can showcase to them that we're looking at them when we're not. So I think this is going to be a feature that we're going to be used to. And I do think it's a cool feature at the end of the day. I just kind of think that with this specific thing, I think they could have been a little bit more open. And I mean, people like myself, I'm going to complain about every little thing that I can to, you know, to hopefully get them fixed. I don't know if this is a big deal, but you know, definitely if Samsung is going to go ahead and say that, oh, this is not a replacement of an image. This is actually the moon that you're looking at. I think I would probably have a problem with that. So in terms of that, that kind of covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly with everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.